Hello everyone. Today we're going to go through Autodesk AutoCAD. So this is just a quick run through of AutoCAD as in this tutorial we still want to focus more on Unreal Engine 4. So I just want to quickly show you a real life AutoCAD file. This is something that we do in our daily work where we produce an AutoCAD file with the detailed dimensions and the detailed drawings. But for the purpose of this course, we just want to produce a layout file um, for the purpose of modeling in 3D Studio Max. And in some companies or in some workflows, the AutoCAD files may not even be provided um, by us, you know, by an Archvis artist. We don't even need to do an AutoCAD file. Sometimes the drafters in the companies will, will be the ones doing the AutoCAD file and the Archvis artists will just focus on the creative side and the artistic side of the 3D renderings. So generally, we start with uh, getting a rough, you know, a picture or drawing of the layout file, just like uh, the one shown in the screen. And then we will import into AutoCAD and start working on it. So if the uh, AutoCAD is not something that you require, you don't need to create it or you, you don't have to learn it, you know, then you can just skip this video. Um, but still it is good to know some basics and really in this tutorial we'll just be covering the basics um, to get the layout file. So firstly we want to create a new file when we open AutoCAD. We can just create new here and we will choose open with no template metric because we model in millimeters so we will use the metric model. So if you use a standard uh, kind of AutoCAD without any templates or any user profile, you may come with a white color crosshair, which will be a problem. It will be a bit difficult to use because your original layout file or layout picture is white in color. So usually I'll change it to green. So what we can do is we can go to options here and then we can go to display and change uh, go to colors and change the crosshair color okay it's up to you which color you prefer but I generally I will just use a green color so the next step is we want to ensure that we are modeling in millimeters or whatever uh, units that you want to model in so what we can do is we type units in the command and ensure that it is in your uh, scale that you are using to model. For us, we will be using millimeters. And precision, we don't need four decimal place, maybe two is enough. So that's how we will set up our units. So right now, the lines that we draw are actually white in color. So let me just show you. Okay, let's say I draw a line. So it's, it's white in color, which again, it will be a bit difficult to trace out uh, on our original JPEG file because it's also in white color. So I want to change my line um, or AutoCAD drawings to be green in color as well. So what we can do is we can go to layer properties and then just change um, the color to uh, green or whatever color you want. So usually I will use green and then of course the line will then change to green. But the last part of the setup that I want to go through is the auto lock and the snapping. So what is ortho lock? Basically, I just want to um, restrict my drawing um, either at, at a horizontal line or a vertical line. So if I don't turn on the ortho lock, what, what's going to happen is when I draw a line, um, there's no control on the angle. But if I lock it, and when I draw a line, it will either be a horizontal line or a vertical line. So this is very important uh, in AutoCAD, so make sure that it's turned on. The other thing that we want to turn on is the snapping because uh, it's easier. So let's say if I continue drawing on this line, okay, uh, I can snap to the, to the edge. If I don't turn on snapping, I, uh, I may miss out some, some parts. I need to really uh, scroll in to match, make sure that I'm actually drawing, continuing from the edge. So all this will be a lot easier if we have um, snapping turned on. Okay, so, so make sure all this setup are done and then we can proceed to the next part. So I just want to go through a bit about how you can select objects in AutoCAD because um, 
it is a bit different from 3D Studio Max or Unreal Engine. So in AutoCAD, if you want to use a rectangular tool to select objects, you just click release your mouse button, drag and click again. You know, if you don't release, it, it's actually a lasso tool where you, you have to specify um, what area you want to select. Okay, so if you want to use the traditional rectangular tool, you need to click and release the mouse button, drag the mouse and then click again. Also, there's a bit of difference if you drag from the left to right and from the right to left. So if you drag from the left to right, you have to select the entire object that you want to select. Okay, but if you drag from right to left, you just need to touch it. Okay, so for example, if I have two lines right now, okay, just draw a line. So if I want to um, select these two lines from the left, I need to select everything. Okay, as you can see, it's highlighted. But if um, if I want to select from the right to left, I don't have, I just need to touch them. So from right to left, I just need to touch them and they are selected. So there's a difference uh, in this way when it comes to selecting objects in AutoCAD. So just be aware of that. So next, I'm going to get the JPEG file. In this tutorial, the JPEG layout file, um, I'm, I actually took it from archdaily.com. I'll put the link uh, inside the description and also our Gumroad project resource uh, files. So we can download this JPEG file and then put it onto our desktop. And then when we want to insert it into AutoCAD, what we can do is to go to insert and attach. Okay, I already have it in my desktop. So we can just use the default options and then specify specify inside the AutoCAD file by clicking it okay then um, it will be imported into our AutoCAD so now that we have imported the JPEG file we want to scale the JPEG file so that we get a correctly scaled file when we do the tracing so we are not sure what the size is but usually uh, what we know for sure is that the door the main door is usually 900 millimeters in length so we will just use uh, the door to scale so what i mean by that is we can draw a line which is which we know is 900 millimeters and then we can scale back or scale up the jpeg file to follow that line so that we know that once we have scaled it this is a one-to-one -one scale and when we do the tracing we will get the correct scale so we can start uh, doing that by using the line tool. So let's type line, enter, and then we click on one point and drag a bit. So we want to make sure that this is 900 millimeters. What we do is we just type 900, enter. Okay, so we can see that the um, AutoCAD has already draw, draw a line which is 900 millimeters in length. Okay, and I press escape, I'll get a line which is 900 millimeters. So as you can see, 900 millimeters is this wide but the JPEG file is much wider so the JPEG file is not to scale at this moment and we want to scale it to be in the correct scale using this line okay so now I'm teaching you how to scale it first of all type scale okay enter and then use the rectangular select tool to select this JPEG file so click and then drag and click so the rec uh, the jpeg file is selected you can press enter okay it will ask you to specify a base point so we just click on the corner of the jpeg file click and then we want to reference two points so we will type r okay and enter so this this the two points that we want to reference is this the door so what i will do is i will just click on one side of the door and then click on the other side of the door okay so we have selected the two reference points we want this these two points to then scale towards our line here so what I'll do is I'll type P and then click on the first line because I have a snapping tool is easier so I click on the left side of the line and then click on the right side of the line okay once that is done my um, 
my jpeg file is then scaled accordingly as you can see the door now is the same size as the 900 mm uh, line so when we start tracing our our layout we can be sure that it is one to one scale so now i'm going to use the line tool to start tracing so we can just type line okay and then uh, let's specify the first point and then we can trace the outer walls okay so it's really a very simple exercise if you have auto lock and snapping turned on this will be a breeze so we just simply trace um, I don't think you will want to sit there and watch me trace so I'll probably fast forward or skip this and um, the last the final cat file will actually be downloadable in our gumroad page so uh, you can try tracing yourself and then after that uh, we will then come back together and do 3d studio max okay so i'll probably just fast forward what i'm doing and you can follow me uh, on the gumroad page so as you can see i have already traced the outer walls of this side of the um of the wall and i didn't follow exactly for the bathroom i just cut through um of course because this is just a tutorial uh, in the real project i will follow exactly but for this i think it's sufficient to just cut through um, so the next side of the wall i wanted to make sure that it is aligned with this particular side so how do we do this uh, we can do this of course by our snapping tool so let's continue so i'm going to use the line tool to trace um, the right side of the wall and i want it to be aligned with this point right so how do i do this first i type line Okay, and I because I want it to be aligned with this point, I point it on this point and I slowly drag out to the right side. You can see that there's a line here to tell me that they are in the same alignment. So I click. So when I click, I can be sure that this particular point here is the same alignment as that point. Okay, so so that will help us ensure um, this is the same. So I of course again. I, I want this point when I turn to be the, to be aligned so I just align here okay uh, just make sure it's aligned so how do I do that I align this and drag and click okay and then this point okay and then when I when I click here I want it to be aligned to the other side as well so I click here okay so that's how you use the snapping tool right uh, some problem there so let's just see why it's, okay yeah so it's aligned so just click okay so that's that's uh that's the beauty of the alignment tool so again we can continue tracing um i won't be showing you the rest um, you can you it's it's not that difficult to trace so please continue to trace and you can get the final file in our gumroad page so before we end, I just want to share a bit more on how you can support the channel. So first of all, um, all the PowerPoint files that we use in this tutorial, you can download it. So when you download the PowerPoint files and any project files that we give to the channel through Gumroad, your email will be um, captured by us. So we will send some marketing materials in the future if you allow us to do so. Of course, you can choose to opt out but this will help us in our marketing efforts of course um, the final UE4 project file uh, it will be for sale as well so if uh, it is it is priced at a usual tutorial cost fee but this is absolutely not compulsory so if you feel you want to support the channel you can get the UE4 project file um, for a price so all these links uh, as we are preparing for the youtube uh, videos we will slowly add all these files into our gumroad page so some are not ready yet some are already can be downloaded so you can refer to the youtube description for the links to where to download these project files and also i just want to share with you the way to contact us we have a youtube channel um, you can contact us directly through email and of course 
the easiest way to find us actually is through our Facebook channel. You can directly message us. So these are the links to where you can contact us if you have any questions, you need any help. Uh, feel free to just look for us. Uh, of course, um, if you can remember to subscribe to our channel and click on the notification button. So when we post a new video, you'll be notified. Thank you and I'll see you in the next lesson.